Got a prison mine over there. Legalized slavery. About to hit some dirt. Day two. Still smoky as shit. In the hotel the night before, we decided to take Midas Road instead of I-80 to 226. This road was all dirt, followed next to some mountains, and even had a reservoir at some point. The fuel range for all of our bikes is right around 200 miles, and that's almost the exact distance we planned to do that day. But between the three of us, we pretty much had two and a half gallons of extra fuel strapped to our bikes. I won't lie, the dirt in the beginning was pretty boring. We basically had to resort to harassing cows in the middle of their territory. <coughs> a bowl that was right off the side of the road and of course I gave it the finger. Oh those are cool rock formations. What are they called Chad? Hey I don't know because I'm not a geology major. Nevada's only body of water, probably. Which, of course, looked lower than usual, just like every other place that's in a drought in the West. At some point, we randomly came across this burn trailer with an ATV outside and an ATV inside the trailer. I think the bushings are still good? Not sure if insurance fraud or someone just had a bad day. But hey, Nevada's like a box of chocolates. Actually, it's, it's just not. It's mostly just what I imagine Mad Max to be in real life. I made sure to get a good photo of myself for my Tinder Meets Bumble account. And then basically more cows. to the Idaho border, the cooler the scenery started to get. At some points, we were completely surrounded by aspens, and I was wondering if we were in Idaho already. But spoiler alert, this is not how the most of southern Idaho looks. stretch but okay bless up to the most high bmw gs lords <laughs> yep yeah dude you should do a 360 picture here Ooh, okay. someone in nevada decided to name this mountain matterhorn to confuse the fuck out of you that's a pretty chill spot i'm really digging the cliffs at this point we were dropping into garbage something like maybe a thousand feet down It definitely got a little sketchy with the sheer drop-offs and rock gardens, but it was overall really fun. One of the things I made sure not to do before going on this trip was look at any photos of any of the places that we were going to. Looking at you, viewer. This way I would have the best opportunity to be surprised every time I showed up to any new place. I totally expected Jarbage to be surrounded by a flat Nevada desert. Basically the wasteland that everyone expects Nevada to be. But I was pleasantly surprised by what this town was. It's nothing super special, but the setting is really cool. It seems to be extremely popular with the Idahoan side-by-side -side community. We made reservations at the Outdoor Inn months in advance. I recommend doing the same since there aren't many spots available. Stick around for the next episode of the Idaho, B B B B Idaho BDR series where we actually ride in Idaho for the first time. Hopefully I have the willpower to make the video. Thanks for watching and uh, see y'all later, I guess, maybe, hopefully.